Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most controversial stories coming out of Zimbabwe's innovation scene. Maxwell Chikumbutso's called free energy invention and why the U.S. Patent Office decided to block it. Is it a groundbreaking breakthrough or simply a case of science versus hype? Let's find out. Maxwell Chikumbutso is a self-proclaimed inventor from Zimbabwe who has captured global attention with claims of creating revolutionary energy technologies. Over the years, he has showcased inventions such as a fuel-free car and devices that purportedly harness radio frequencies to generate electricity, ideas that, if true, could redefine how we power our vehicles and even our homes. However, his story isn't without controversy. Many experts have questioned the scientific basis of his claims, and today we're focusing on one major event, the decision by the U.S. Patent Office to block his invention. Chikumbutso claims that his invention can capture ambient radio frequency waves, essentially energy that is all around us, and convert them into usable electricity. According to him, this technology powers his self-propelled vehicle without any fuel, batteries, or traditional recharging methods. Imagine a car that never needs to stop for gas or a charge. Sounds like science fiction, right? But that's exactly what Chikumbutso promised. And it's a promise that, if kept, would have huge implications for energy sustainability. Despite the bold claims, when Chikumbutso applied for a patent in the United States, his invention was rejected. The primary reason? The patent examiners determined that his invention violates fundamental laws of physics, specifically the laws of thermodynamics. Patent law requires that an invention be both novel and industrially applicable. In Chikumbuzo's case, the U.S. Patent Office argued that his device essentially behaves like a perpetual motion machine, a type of invention that has been debunked by centuries of scientific research. In simple terms, energy can't be created from nothing. The conservation of energy is one of the most well-established laws in physics. Patent examiners noted that if an invention appears to generate energy without any external input, it contradicts these fundamental principles. Additionally, they cited that his invention lacked industrial applicability. Since the invention can't be patented without contradicting natural laws, its creators chose a different path. Instead of patent protection, they decided to safeguard their innovation through industrial designs and trade secrets, similar to how Coca-Cola protects its secret formula. In fact, around 70% of the components in this device remain classified. However, this approach creates its own hurdles. Without a patent, licensing the technology becomes a challenge, and major investors hesitate because there's no exclusive protection for their investment. This lack of patent protection isn't just a legal technicality, it has serious real-world consequences. When an invention isn't secured, anyone can replicate it the moment it's released. More critically, without proper protection, innovators often struggle to attract the funding they need. This can force brilliant minds to leave their home countries in search of better opportunities, a phenomenon known as brain drain. Imagine if this trend continues. Africa could lose many of its most promising talents, and with them, the chance to solve major challenges like our energy crisis. There's another layer to this story. Major Western media outlets rarely spotlight revolutionary technologies emerging from Africa. Instead, they focus on conflict, disasters, and other negative stories. This selective coverage reinforces the false notion that innovation only happens in the West. It's time we change that narrative and celebrate the groundbreaking work happening right here on our continent. Our inventions have the power to transform lives, yet they're often overlooked simply because they come from unexpected places. Which are not uh, patentable, but being patents because of some issues. Good example, you can invent something that will promote monopoly. Automatically, it's not patentable. You can invent something that is novel, it's new, but this thing can cause harm to people. It's not patentable. Our technology was classified as a technology that violates some laws of physics because patents examiners are guided by the natural laws. So they said, you are violating the law of energy thermodynamics. This is not directly proportional. 
so it's not industrial applicable <laughs> because it is reversing everything we have to revisit science and change those laws yes it is working but because yeah. it's doing that <laughs> we have to relook everything yeah, relook re everything we have to dismantle everything then we start afresh so it's not patentable so they some they classify it as a perpetual motion device that is why we delayed to be out we're trying to find best ways of doing it of taking it to the market later on we decided that the best way is to have industrial designs just like coca-cola did they protected their recipe it's not patented but they just uh, kept it secret so we, 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 we decided to go that route and uh, it took 70 percent of our components in the microsonic energy device we made those components uh, we put them under trade secrets meaning to say that we don't disclose much the formula on how those components are made the materials that we are using will remain classified yeah so that was the challenge that we feel yeah it uh, affects a lot because uh, i will give a very good example that uh, this is something that uh, we have experienced for example you want to license a company a company come and say we see that this thing is working we want a, a, a manufacturing license or whatever but when you don't have a patent they don't have guarantee they don't have guarantee that it, it, they will remain in control so it, it became a challenge to, to license companies it became a challenge also to get like funding from uh, financial institutions a good example there's a time in south africa certain bank was giving a uh, funding for new and renewable energy our technology even though it was working demonstrated that it is what was working leave your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to your channel name for more in-depth tech analyses and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update and if you have any topics you'd like us to explore next let us know in the comments